Geofabrics Australasia proudly presents a series of videos that relate to the Australian standards that are used in testing of geosynthetic products and how these tests relate to practical field applications. The standard environment for this test method is an ambient temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius, and humidity of 65 per cent, plus or minus 3 per cent. Ten circular specimens are required with a minimum diameter of 195 millimetres. The specimens are sampled so that they are widely spaced as possible over the whole surface of the sample, so that their positions are symmetrically different in the longitudinal and cross directions. 100 millimetres from either edge, any visually non-representative, soiled or damaged part of the sample is discarded. The specimens are clamped in circular jaws with an internal diameter of 195 millimetres and a minimum internal height of 195 millimetres. The clamps must be tight to prevent slippage of the specimen during the test. A plunger is lowered onto the specimen and the extension measurement zeroed. The dimensions of the plunger are greater than 75 millimetres long, 50 millimetres in diameter, with a 2.5 millimetre radius. The plunger is lowered down through the specimen at a rate of 50 millimetres per minute. The peak force is recorded as the CBR burst strength to the nearest 10 newtons. The elongation at the peak force is recorded in percentage to the nearest 1%. The 10 specimens are averaged to get an end typical result for that sample. The mean, standard deviation and coefficient of variation are reported. The 95th and 5th percentile can also be reported. This is an index test. It evaluates the three-dimensional conformability of the geotextile when deformed around a 50 mm plunger. The greater the elongation, the more likely the geotextile is to adapt to uneven surfaces. This test method is designed to simulate fabric bursting caused by aggregate being forced through a geotextile under a load such as heavy equipment. There is no relevance to site-measured CBR. It is a measure of multi-directional strength rather than single direction, whereas a wide strip is a single direction.